Hey everyone, how are you doing today? It's Marla. Hopefully everyone is doing well this morning. This video is going to be a little different. It's just going to be about this lipstick. I have always been a very huge, huge Audrey Hepburn fan. I remember as a kid watching, I don't know, her movies over and over and over again. Sabrina, The Nun Story, Breakfast at Tiffany's, My Fair Lady, all her movies I would watch. I just thought she was just so elegant and stunning, not in a overly sexy way like Elizabeth Taylor or some of the other actresses of her time, Marilyn Monroe. More like a just sort of an innocent sexiness about her. I always found her to be such a classy, classy lady. Loved the way she dressed. Never showed a lot of skin. Just kind of very elegant. So when I was recently kind of going through all my old movies again and watching them on YouTube, I kind of got led into a video which was done by Lisa Eldridge and she had mentioned that she went to an auction, I guess several years ago, of Audrey Hepburn's most precious personal items. She said at that time she didn't film it but she thought she would film it because people had been asking her about it. What she specifically wanted to purchase at that auction was a lipstick case that was was given to Audrey Hepburn from Cartier and it's a one-of-a-kind. I believe it was only made for her. I believe there are no others that were made like that. I think it was 18 karat gold and it had some type of sapphire on it and she showed it. Well, when she actually got the lipstick case, she was shocked to find some of Audrey Hepburn's lipstick still left in the case and apparently it was one of her favorite lipstick shades. I think think she had mentioned that maybe it might have been the shade that she was wearing in Breakfast at Tiffany's and what's so funny is I distinctly remember seeing Audrey Hepburn put this lipstick on in that movie and it just lit up her face. It was like she went from not having a lot of color to her face to having this gorgeous color just added to her face that was so natural but so lively. Someone mentioned that they thought that the shade was four 15 pink in the afternoon from Revlon. Lisa Eldridge, however, denies that that's the shade. She says it's another shade, another company. It doesn't start with the letter R, so it's not Revlon. However, when somebody mentioned that, I thought, hmm, I never heard that her lipstick possibly could have been pink in the afternoon from Revlon. Now, I'm sure it was probably a more expensive brand, and I'm sure this is incorrect. However, I decided to buy the lipstick and see. When I put this lipstick on, whether this is her lipstick or not, this is the most magical shade. When you put this lipstick on your lips, it just gives you this beautiful life to your face, kind of lights it up. It is the most beautiful pinkish coral shade. The consistency of this lipstick is amazing. It adheres to your lips, extremely moisturizing, stays in the lip line beautifully. I ended up buying four of these because I fell in love with this shade so much. I wish I had bigger lips to show you what this really looks like on bigger lips. It just glides on your lips beautifully. I can't say enough about the shade. So whether or not Revlon Pink in the Afternoon number 415 was the shade that was the favorite shade of Audrey Hepburn, all I know is it is now my favorite, favorite shade of lipstick. I can't believe a lipstick this inexpensive is this wonderful on the lips, feels this good on the lips, extremely moisturizing, just fabulous. It doesn't have any smell like a lot of the cheap drugstore lipsticks do. It is just gorgeous. So I wanted to mention that, whether it be Audrey Hepburn's favorite lipstick or not, it is now my favorite lipstick. Take care guys, talk to you soon. Bye bye from Marla.